what it do youtube it's your boy elton been a while since i posted i know i haven't posted in like a couple of months i'm not gonna lie um but i am looking forward into posting more often teaching you guys as much as i can about what i know but as of today i'm gonna talk to you guys about you know starting to go into the gym for the new people that you know made their planet fitness or wherever you started working out um their gym membership or if you're working out at home wherever you're working out you know if it's your first time it's you're you're in that beginner phase i'm gonna teach you guys what um some tips that i recommend you guys follow you guys don't have to but i'm just teaching you guys um when it comes to starting with the gym now these are things that i wish i had in my mind when i started going to the gym because not gonna lie i made it i did a lot of stuff and it messed me up a lot but you know i got some good news for y'all though <laughs> peep damn my eyes look small as fuck little peep though graduated yesterday so i'm done with high school you know i look forward to like posting more you know one day i do want to become like a personal trainer you know there's a lot of things i want to do in the future but no, but we're here right now. So I'm going to teach you guys um, some things I recommend you guys um, should know or try to follow when it comes to starting. First off things first is understand that you don't know everything. For a lot of people going to the gym right now, they started going um, or even some people, they don't even go because they're scared of like, oh, I don't know anything about going to the gym or, you know, if you're already in the gym, understand that you don't know everything okay you want to always be expecting yourself to learn okay i want you guys to really understand to that you're not going to know everything when you start going you know you, most of you guys started going to the gym and you're looking around and there's a lot of machines there's a lot of people doing this doing that and now you feel traumatized you know you don't even know where to start you don't know what to do but here's something i recommend you guys do: go to the gym know that you don't know everything and you know look around what people's doing you know get familiar with the machines right on the first day if you want you can go try to work out a little bit but just i want you guys to just look around get familiar with the new environment that you're going to be putting yourself in for the next couple of years or whatever your goal is but it's like get familiar with the machines okay so this person doing that okay some people probably gonna have some awful form in the gym but understand that you don't know everything and just try to try to like take it slow okay and with not knowing everything understand that you're also going to make some mistakes you know let's say your first day you go you're looking at the machines you're like okay so this machine's for back this is for bicep blah 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 or even if you don't know your muscle groups that well which i have a video coming up you're gonna make mistakes okay understand that when you start working out you're gonna make some mistakes man you're gonna have awful form you're probably gonna you know you're not gonna do everything perfect the right way the first time I know I did. I'll tell you that. I was doing that back machine, just pulling that shit. And I wasn't even lifting up my chest. I, I just looked like a fool. But it's all good though, because I got y'all. You know, I always try to hook y'all up and teach y'all what I know. But always expect that. And that's fine. Making mistakes, just always try to improve. That's what life is about. Things happen, you want to try to improve and managing it. All right. And some of y'all probably shy as fuck, not gonna lie. I know I used to be shy. The very time I started going to the gym, Shy as fuck, man. You gonna see me? I ain't, I ain't looking at nobody. Had a hat. My shit was down. Nope. Wouldn't talk to nobody. I was... Nigga, I did nothing but just biceps, bro. I didn't know shit. But like I said, I want you guys to get this idea that you're not gonna know everything when you start going to the gym. Okay? Understand that you are gonna have to learn. You're gonna have to do some research. You're gonna make a lot of mistakes. And some days, you're not gonna feel like going. But get that idea in your mind. Because it's gonna help you a lot. I promise you. For the second thing I want to talk to you guys about is start with small goals. Like I know a lot of y'all have been going to the gym or you just started and you know, you're pretty excited. So you start doing all these things, you know, you're you're doing this, you're doing that, you're lifting heavier weights, you really want to get big. You want you want to whatever your goal is, you you just almost overwhelming yourself by doing too much. And I'm telling you guys to start with small goals. Start with going as an example, it can be, I'm going to go to the gym two to three times a week. Whether that's for an hour, 45 minutes, an hour and a half, or maybe even two hours. 
but just start with smaller goals because what this does is if you start going to the gym you start overwhelming yourself with too much at some point you're gonna have that mindset where you do too much and whenever you don't do that thing like the certain amount that you started with you're gonna feel like you're not doing enough and it can eventually lead you to stop going to the gym i experienced this myself all right this is what this is about this is things that i've struggled with i'm trying to teach you and i tell you this first day i went i was doing everything i, I were i put two hour timer and i was just doing whatever i ain't no shit i was just doing what i gotta do and i wouldn't i didn't even know what i was even working out most of the time and i would do that and to be, to be honest it worked out pretty well for a whole week but it's not no nah, didn't end well because after that i started getting lazy and then when I do go to the gym, I wouldn't work out for two hours. I would work out for like an hour instead. And then I'd be like, you know what? Like, I'm not even, I don't even feel like it. So I went through this phase multiple times in, you know, working out my whole life. Well, not my whole life. I've been working out for like two years. So I'm not even that big yet. But like, here's, that's exactly the thing. Because I would work out. I would stop for a couple of months. I'd start, stop. And the whole reason I would start and stop were going to the gym it's all because I would like do too much and it's not really good but yeah start start small you know go to the gym two to three times a week or if you want you can start going by two times a week um and when you're not at the gym I recommend you guys do some research doing research on whatever you know let's say you see this machine you're like oh that's for back maybe search it up you go on safari or youtube oh how do I do this and you can learn the forms and everything and to be honest that's that's pretty much how you learn Unless you guys want to like walk up to people, which I don't recommend because some people's form is straight dog shit in the gym. I'll tell you that. But yeah, you know, and just start off with smaller goals, whether it's you going to the gym this many times or it's you going to the gym for this amount of time. Start small and slowly build yourself up because that's the best way that you can grow in the gym. And also a little tip under that whole small goal control your fucking ego i know so many you know i'm not even gonna target anybody but i'm just i know so many of my friends that they let their ego go out of their fucking way bro they go to the gym brand new you know they should they should probably be lifting up like 15 for biceps niggas be pulling up fucking 35s and be struggling as fuck like bro control your ego you don't want to be that dude in the gym that wants to put some heavy ass weight because you want to look like that nigga or because of some girl next to you or whatever the situation is. Control your fucking ego. There's one thing that you will eventually hate and everyone hates in the gym is that one dude that lets their ego fucking fly. They don't even care. Brush, brush, just annoying. Control your ego, man. You know, just do your shit, but don't don't go above what you know. Last but not least, guys, number three is a gym plan. What I mean by gym plan is, okay, so... Let's say you can only work out Monday, Wednesday, Fridays. I want you guys to write it down. Monday, I'm gonna work out this muscle group. Wednesday, I'm gonna work out this muscle group. Friday, I'm gonna work out this muscle group. And some of you guys are like, okay, I can make a plan, but what kind of plan do I make? I'm gonna hook y'all up. So this is the very first thing that I started doing when I worked out. And this plan is called push, pull, legs. I'll try to put some pictures up for y'all when you guys are like listening to this on YouTube. But what you want to do is push, push day, which is normally on Monday. So it goes push, pull, legs. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Push is on Monday. Tuesday would be pull. Wednesday would be legs. And then you repeat that. I, I can explain to you a little bit more. I'm going to definitely make another, like another video specifically for push, pull, legs, explaining everything. But I want you guys to get this idea of push, pull, legs just splits out your whole body, working out your whole body within three days. Push, pull, legs. Three days. So three different muscle groups. And so for push day, you want to do workouts that you push. For pull, is workouts that you pull. And then legs, you work out your legs and your calves, okay? So for push, you want to hit chest, shoulders, and triceps. For pull, which is a whole different day, whole different workout, my whole different muscle group, pull is going to be back and biceps. And then you have legs, which is quads, hamstrings, and you got the calves, okay? So what, what I want you guys to do is you started going to the gym right let's say you can work out three times a week whatever that three times is whether it's back to back or split it out i want you guys to write down okay so this day the very first day of the week whether it's monday or tuesday 
you can make that push. So the push, you wanna do chest, shoulders, and triceps. And then pull, you do your back and your biceps and legs, quads, hamstrings, you hit your calves. So guys, so one, if you go into the gym, don't understand that you don't know everything, okay? You wanna, you wanna always expect yourself to learn. You understand that you're gonna make mistakes. And when you make mistakes, you try to research and get better at it. And understand that you're gonna feel shy as well, okay? And the second thing is start with small goals, okay? Go to the gym two to three times if that's how you wanna start or if you wanna do, I'm gonna go to the gym a certain amount of time a day or however you wanna do it, whether it's like, I'm gonna do this workout a certain amount of times or reps or sets or whatever. Start with small goals. Don't overwhelm yourself. It's never really gonna end well. And I know there's a lot of per people out there that like to put a lot of pressure on themselves. But just trust me on this. In your beginner phase, don't just start with small goals. Because if you do too much, if you make too much, because imagine this: you make big ass goals, and you never achieve them. You're gonna you're gonna feel like shit. You know, what I mean? you don't even want to go to the gym anymore. All right, and control your ego under that. Talking about small goals. And then number three is the gym plan I told you guys about, push, pull, legs. It's been working for me. I've been working out personally for about like six months, not like nonstop, because I stopped a lot of times. Um, and it's honestly like the best thing. And this, I promise if you, you already guys, have a gym membership, if you already went to the gym once, understand that you are already halfway to your goal, okay? Picture this, millions of people every day, they talk about going to the gym, they talk about working out. And they never do. They never start a membership. They never go for their first day. They just fantasize about it. You already have a membership or you, you're you actually about to have a membership to go into the gym. You're already halfway there because everyone gets stuck at this fantasizing like, like mindset where they never actually do it. So they talk about it and they never do it. And you already have a membership. You're already doing your shit. You just started. You're already halfway to your goal, whether it's losing weight, whether you want to gain muscle, whether you wanna, I don't know, whatever your goal is. All right, for me, I'm gonna get big. Look at this shit. <clears throat> Anyways, but yeah, understand that you're already halfway. And it's something that once you think about, you really start to understand. Because people, their whole lives, they think about doing this, but they never even take the first step on doing it. And you already, and you are ready. You're listening to this video right now. You, you just, just start and you're already halfway. All you gotta do now is just keep putting the work. But that's pretty much for today's video, man. I really appreciate you guys listening to this video. Um, don't forget to subscribe, like, and you can also follow my Instagram. You know, y'all can, y'all, and I know y'all should follow me on Instagram. You know, you can like watch your boy. I post workouts videos sometimes. And pretty much, yeah, um, I'll, I'll have some videos coming up for you guys. And I'll see y'all later. Kevin.